Did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> now, I don't want to sound like your mother, but really, do you squeeze a bit of toothpaste out? Did you put that toothbrush in your mouth? Did you do that? And how did you remember? Well, you got naked, you turned on your shower, you stepped in, rinsed off, stepped out and brushed your teeth. Just like that, you did it automatically. You didn't even think about it. But let me ask you this. When you delegated a task today, did you consider if the person's interested? Did you think, geez, I really wonder if this guy would like to do what I'm asking him to do? Did you do that? Probably not. But effective leaders do this. In fact, considering others' interests when delegating is one of 79 different microbehaviors that effective leaders do. Now imagine how much more effective you'd be if you did these leadership behaviors automatically. What if leadership became your habit, just like brushing your teeth in the morning? Over the course of several years, we studied 800 managers and executives around the world. And we identified the tiny behaviors that distinguish effective leaders from not so good leaders. Now, of course, I could present all these leadership skills to you in a training course. We could just sit around and talk about leadership. But we know that that is not going to turn these leadership skills into lasting habits. Why is that? Because when it will come to actually leading, you'll experience that awkward moment when you know that you're forgetting something, your leadership skills. In fact, tomorrow you'll only remember half of what I said. And if I see you next week, you won't even remember my name. So, how do you remember to delegate better? How do you remember to ask, are you interested to do this when delegating? What you have to do is pick a small behavior. You identify a tiny behavior and that's all you practice. You don't practice the entire skill at once. You don't practice the sequence, but just one simple behavior and that's all you do. And you practice this one behavior over and over again until it becomes as natural as putting that toothbrush in your mouth and brushing your teeth. But you need one more thing. What you need is a cue. Remember how getting naked and taking shower triggered you to automatically brush your teeth? You need to find a similar event that will serve as a reminder to help you remember to delegate better. So normally people would ask, are you interested after they describe a task that they wish to delegate? And that you describing the task that you wish to delegate, that is the event, that is the perfect natural cue. And now you have what I call a leader habit exercise. After describing a task that you want to delegate, you ask, are you interested to do this? Is this something you'd like to do? It's very simple, and it only takes minutes a day. But it is not a habit yet. I hate to disappoint you, but you actually do have to practice this. So naturally you're wondering, well, how long is this going to take? How long will I have to practice this exercise? And the answer is I-66. Now this is not a highway. This is a formula. You take this exercise and you practice it once a day for 66 days. That is how long it takes for a habit to form. Some of you might have heard that it takes 21 days to form a new habit. But that research, or estimate I should say, comes from plastic surgery. I'm not kidding. It takes 21 days for people to get used to their new look. Now, I don't know about you, but getting used to your new look learning how to delegate better are two very different things. So how long will it take? 66 days. You practice that exercise once a day for 66 days. This simple exercise is how you get better at delegating. In just two months, this behavior will become automatic. It'll become your new habit. 
So the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get there. But better yet, what you just learned is the leader habit formula. This is a new process that you can use to become the leader you have always wanted to be. Thank you.